Hello everyone, my name is Bert Janssen and today I'm going to talk a bit about the SharePoint Side Footer. So the SharePoint Side Footer is a footer which appears on modern communication sites and there is some ways for you to control this footer. Now, before we dive into a demo, uh, let's have a quick look at the documentation. So documentation can be found under docs.microsoft.com um, slash SharePoint slash dev slash features slash side footer. And it shows you how to uh, manipulate the footer from the UI, but also some basic PowerShell commandlets to manipulate the footer. Now, let's see how this actually works in practice. So over here, I have a communication site. And by default, any new communication site that you create does have the footer enabled. So this blue bar at the bottom here is the footer. And I can configure the footer using the UI. If you go here, change the look, click on footer, I can uh, disable the footer if I don't like the footer. I can uh, turn on a footer name. I can add a logo. I can even uh, actually add links to the footer. If I click here, click edit, then I can add links to the footer. Now, how would you do this in a programmatic way? Because you don't want to kind of click around all your sites, imagining you have like hundreds of, of sites that you want to configure, how to do that. And for that, uh, PNP PowerShell is, is really a powerful tool. So I'm going to go to my PowerShell session over here and I'm going to connect first like this. So I need to enter my uh, account that I will use to connect to, the, to my test site, which is this one, my password. All right, hopefully that went well and it did. Okay, so we are connected to our SharePoint uh, PNP demo site. Now let's first try to disable the footer using PNP PowerShell. To do so, we grab a web object. Uh, so we grab the current web. And the current web has a property called footer enabled, which we can set to false. So like this. When you do this, you always have to update the web uh, and actually send the changes back to SharePoint using invoke PNP query. All right. Let's go back to the site. Let's see. Oopsie, over here. If I refresh this one. We should not have this blue bar anymore at the bottom. And voila, the footer is gone, no footer anymore. Now let's step up the demo a little bit. What if you would like to uh, also create links in there? Now you could use navigation APIs uh, to do so. Um, if you want to do that, check out the PNP source code th that we have. Uh, but um, for most people, it's just easier to create a PNP provisioning template, define the links in there, and then apply the template. So what I have prepped here is a little template uh, which has a footer element, and in the footer element is a footer links element having two links, so a PNP rocks links and a Yoast SharePoint link. Now, if you apply this template, we expect this um, these links to be uh, popping up, and we also are re-enabling um, the footer again. You see this enabled equal true uh, attribute. How do you apply a PNP template? Again, using PNP PowerShell. Going back to a PowerShell session, I'm already connected to the right side, so that's good. So I can simply paste in my commandlet called apply dash PNP provisioning template, and I specify the template that I want to apply. This goes fairly quick because it's really a simple basic template. So that will be done in a second. So it's done. Let's go back to our site. Let's hit refresh and let's check it. And scrolling down and here we are. We have our footer enabled again and we have our two links showing up in here. So it's that easy to actually configure the footer. I think that's all for today. Bye-bye.